Hey YouTube Gundam here, welcome back to Space Engineers. Got a nice one to show you this time around. Uh, based on something, I could make this way bigger, it probably should be three times the size it is, but I don't want to make it three times the size it is. It's a space station, not a ship. Now, usually I'm for my ships, but I have a few stations. So let's take a look around. Command bridge, here. Plenty of panels with a beacon, currently unnamed intentionally. It is vented, however, those vents for some reason aren't working, so leave that door open. Unless you are in an emergency situation. There are emergency flashing right lights, so don't worry about that. There are plenty of passenger chairs, only really one command chair. But plenty of access to various things. Nice little beacon there. You can see plenty of room around to take a look around the space station. <coughs> There is an observation level above, but uh, it's really just here to um, gain access to a car container and a nuclear reactor that are just here as emergency backups for the uh, command area to make sure it stays powered. Although, there is some additional power in the form of a few batteries here along the sides. Right as you come in from the airlock, you have access to one of them. This is a not that heavily armed station, but let me show, give you the tour. Following this down from the bridge, you pass this red line that represents the bridge. You come into this middle area here with conveyors and a blast furnace. Now that's important. There is a refinery on this station, so it is a quite useful station. You go down here, leads to the lower level. That is the, uh, I believe it's the same. <coughs> yeah, it, it all leads to the same place. But you can go down there or you can go down here. It leads to the same. And go through this door. Going through that door leads to the back here, which this leads to an airlock, which actually right up there's a hangar. Right up here is where the uh, bridge is. So bear that in mind. Red doors mean airlock. So if you see a red door, it's the airlock. So you can go through here on either side. Or head out here to outer space. So, yeah, well, it, red really means that is vacuum on the other side of the red door. So the airlock is actually there. You got to know where your airlock is. So this whole room here is actually the airlock. There's a pair of nuclear reactors and a big cargo container. Yeah, I know. So there's that. Now here you have a piston in the back for resupply purposes. Uh, back in here, you have more cargo containers, obviously, and a couple more reactors hiding on either side. That's the primary power. Also, gyroscopes to key the station level. Now, if we go down here, you have uh, something here. I forget what that is. Go down a little bit more, you get to this level. All of these lead to the exact same level. What this is, is you have an airlock. I should really paint these doors yellow. You have an airlock here and on the reverse side. <coughs> right here. But it's primarily connected to the main habitat module, which is... Well, there's one on each side. There are two habitat sections, two arms that link to the two large and one small habitat sections. The small ones are packed with cryo units, medical facilities, batteries, cargo container, and a reactor on each with a gravity generator, and then a lot of empty room. Okay, it's not that much. <clears throat> but it is empty room with some seats to look out into space. And a nice turret. Don't be a bad guy in this room if you value your oxygen. Going through the big doors, oh, they have this. This is a nice view, which you actually have some pretty nice windows around this thing. Keep an eye out for them. So, going through here, you can see a lot more of the station. Going through here is the big habitat module. They are four of these total, and they are completely empty. Just has the airlock. So, there's that. It is repeat on the other side, however, before. Before we get there, I'm going to show you... Uh, da, da. Yeah, there's your entire station! And hit button 5, activates the emergency lights. <coughs> so 
so there are emergency lights everywhere it's really to declare red alert why red alert did you not recognize the station let's show you Star Trek anybody yep this is the uh, it was hard to find the name but the name I believe I could find is Buckingham the Buckingham class space station so here's the main hangar uh, like I said there's a little tug in here by the way and yeah this leads to the bridge and down below there's a little tug in here uh, that's gonna come with the station you got some nice red lighting this door here isn't marked but you're in an area that has no air anyway so mm. Well, the, uh, the one lights are off. Uh, for some reason. How many turn those on? Shoot. Close, close, open, off. Six. Those. Flashers. On. There you go. That's much better. Green means right, red means left, as always. So this is actually the back of the station. The front of the station is here, so bear that in mind. Now, this station is kind of well defended. There are six Gatling guns here, six Gatling guns here, and uh, five there and five there, but that's it. So a bunch of guns there and a bunch of guns there, but nothing on the main section. It's not really meant for combat. It does have full capability besides a uh, big door that can seal nicely. It does also carry, as you can see here, going from this door up here, you have the only yellow lighting the thing. You have assemblers, you have a refinery. You have access to three assemblers directly and a cargo container with a blast furnace. Now, you can all. There is a nuclear reactor in here, yes, so. But there is a few other things not connected to the. Uh, this. Everything here is connected to the refinery. There is a few others that are connected to the refinery only, so bear that in mind. So, yeah. I like, I like these lights for some reason. I just really like them. So. <clears throat> now we've got our four colors here of stuff here with the solar panels here for just lighting <coughs> this is really easy red I mean the white one here is literally cargo that's all it is just lots of cargo red hydrogen and it's a lot of hydrogen this thing is going to be ported with these packed that make it easy you have a handful of thrusters. There's only six thrusters on this thing to keep it from spinning around so much. Now, the, the blue, I kind of like. Besides, the entire back is covered with solar panels, sort of. Inside, it's quite nice. Lots of batteries and lots of gyroscopes. This thing can actually shift. If you need it to move, it'll move. Now, there is a gap here so you can go through it. That is sort of on the yellow but not really now the green one the green well what do you think it is with these as what's on the outside oh where's the middle 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 where are you there we are yep oxygen there's eight total um oxygen generators there's uh, or excuse me, uh, 16. There's these eight here. There's eight more on the bottom, and there's literally just oxygen tanks. This thing is lined with oxygen tanks, and it has a door. And it's a nicer door. Everything else is literally, you go towards the thruster, hop below it, and uh, you're down, or not down, but you have access. Don't know why I put that in. Maybe that was mis I think it was a mistake. So yeah. That was a mistake. So, you're not supposed to have access there because you have a nice one. There's a cargo, and over here, you have a, yeah, there's that. So, actually, now I think, no, no, it's plenty connected. I was thinking, it's not connected, is it? It's plenty connected. <coughs> so, now you can, like I said, rotate this whole thing. 
don't expect the thrusters to help you, but um, you can you can really move this thing to orient it as best you want with a star like that one over there. And yes, it does weigh ten million kilos, so it's a heavy, heavy station. You have a uh, full control here. You have the uh, I forgot to show you. All the way down here, pistons for resupply, and there's a piston in the back, so you can access the one. You can access all those. Let me turn off the. F well, I'll leave the flashes on, but you have access to uh, everything. So yeah, if you see one of my builds, green is the right, red is the left. Well, why is this backwards? Because the seat is facing backwards. So that's why. I know, is I know. But yeah, this thing weighs 10 million, but it can shift. And with solar panels, you could, in theory, just uh, keep it going forever. <laughs> that is a lot of solar panels. It's kind of big, about 250 meters across. Uh, so, I don't know how tall. It's, it's big. So, yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. And again, I believe it's the Buckingham class from Star Trek. Might be mistaken. Oh, that's why the tug turning those off. Okay. So yeah, I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it's the Buckingham class from Star Trek. So I will catch you all uh, later. Yeah. Hmm.